Okay, greetings everyone. So before I get into the topic, would you kindly follow, subscribe uh, to me on YouTube, but also on Odyssey. Odyssey is a really cool platform with no ads, by the way. And also, uh, would you consider buying me a coffee? Just go to reinstallpaul.com. The link's in the description down below. And if you uh, go to my site, and uh, donators can actually get the unofficial esoteric strategy guide for Silent Hill 2. And that's the topic of this video is the Silent Hill 2 remake, of course. So I've updated uh, my esoteric strategy guide for Silent Hill 2. So if you're playing the remake and you'd like some more details that actually um, a lot of the details are in the original videos I did, but not everything. Okay, so this week, uh, first, um, I want to dedicate this video to Hashirama in my Matrix community. Thank you so much for your kind words. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. So, Silent Hill 2 Remake. Wow, we're here, finally. Now, I was, you know, quite pessimistic in the beginning. And I think also there's kind of a unconscious reason to kind of expect the worst. And then I'm glad to be surprised and, and I'm happy to be wrong if it turns out a good, uh, and, and it seems like it's a worthy effort from everyone's uh, opinion that I've heard so far. I did read one review on, uh, I think, PC Gamer it was, and I saw some screenshots. It looks good. I hear the voice acting's really good. Um, so it looks like they did the fans a solid. So that's really, really great. So I haven't had a chance to play it, but I've heard some good things. So really, this, um, this video... Uh, I would just want to ask you guys some questions because I know that um, a lot of you guys are playing the game. So what do you think about Silent Hill 2 Remake? Uh, please leave your comments and let me know. And also I want to know like what sort of new things have you noticed in the Silent Hill 2 Remake? And I'm not just saying, I'm not just talking about maybe puzzles or or necessarily like references to you know, the previous game or references to other things that inspired the game. But I mean, what sort of things have you noticed since the last time you played or maybe the first time you played Silent Hill 2 in the sense of the story and the characters and some of the deeper meaning? Also, um, has the remake opened uh, kind of along those lines? Has it opened any new realizations for you about the story at large? And, and are there any new elements that may be, you know, since since coming back to Silent Hill 2, the remake, you're kind of seeing things from new eyes, right? Because that's kind of um, always been something uh, for me that, you know, kind of tells me whether it's any kind of artistic expression, anything that I can get something from and then, you know, get some sort of very interesting insights from go away from it for a time, come back and then see it completely new and, and discover things that I hadn't realized before. I mean, that's the mark of, of a great uh, story, a wonderful, uh, worthy work of art or anything that's like really well done and well thought out and very deep like Silent Hill 2 is obviously. And also let me know if you'd like to see another deep dive of the Silent Hill 2 remake because... When I uh, have a chance to do a playthrough and everything, um, I may uh, do that. So, you know, time permitting, I have some other projects and I'm going to make some other announcements soon. But I'm really happy to, to know that the Silent Hill 2 remake was a worthy effort after all. And it seems like at least one person from Team Silent was involved. So that's a good sign. Um, that's a really good sign because the press conference didn't really impress me at all. But of course, the uh, the game is really what um, and this and kind of the the feeling and everything is really uh, what drew me in. Right, it's just, is the um, the overall kind of setting and the 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 deep unconscious aspects and the emotional aspects and that kind of perspective of storytelling was like really what drew me in. So. It sounds like from a lot of accounts that that same sort of sense is there, which is which is really good. So I'm interested 
in doing a playthrough. So let me know if you'd like to see another deep dive, and I'll see you guys next time.